Right then. So we've got a few tricks for stretching. Oh, I don't know why I do all these experiments when I'm feeling really stiff. <laughs> I suppose that self resistance wouldn't be worth doing. Right, so what I've found is if I want to go sideways, I can stretch this, I can massage here, I can massage the jaw, massage the calf muscle, massage the trapezius, and I can pretty much from cold go straight into there. That ain't pretty because it's first go, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously you have to stretch a few times. Um, because you get little cross links between muscle fibres and you have to break and whatever. So, going forward is a different kettle of fish. So I'm just turn. Going forward is harder work. And it's obviously different muscle groups. So we're going to look at an autonomic nervous system and we're going to look at the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is to do with fight and flight, so that's your stress. So that's you fighting for your life or running away from some big tigery thing, scary lion. <laughs> um, and a parasympathetic nervous system is to rest and digest. Because when you stress, a lot of things are shut down. Your immune system's compromised, your digestive system's compromised. Because stuff that in that instant you don't need is off, it's offline. You need all the fighting stuff online. So that's why stress is, can make you ill. It messes you up. The chemical dump that you get into your bloodstream is really bad for you. And switching, <laughs> compromising the immune system and your digestive system, that ain't going to do you any good, obviously. So. We're going to access the parasympathetic nervous system via the vagus nerve. The muscles that control the vocal cords are connected to the parasympathetic nervous system, i.e. the vagus nerve. So if I can make a nice sound, I can induce and or switch off a stress reaction. I'm not going to do any comedy chanting, I'm just going to make it an O sound. So for instance, if I go forward and I'm using this dowsing rod that I've been doing for 25 years, so I'm pretty confident it's going to do what it says, um, I'm looking for stress reaction from this, and there it is. So my body's going, oh hold on mate, that ain't normal. Now if I was younger, I probably wouldn't get a uh, stress reaction as much as, and as quickly because you're more rubbery, okay? So, <laughs> we want to switch that off. So let's switch it on. And I'm going to go, oh. And that tells me it's not on anymore. So I should be able to go a little bit further forward. That's the stress reaction on. Oh. I'm trying to stay square on because sideways obviously it's a lot easier. And that's it on there, I can feel that's really tight. Oh. And that's it on. So I'm going to put this away now. This, we know it's doing something. Oh. sideways because now I can do it sideways obviously so let's see what will we are 
I'm wearing a thick suit. Um, oh, I actually went on then. I don't normally do that, so that's a psychological thing, so I'll try it. Um, and we're there. So it's a big difference from the sideways one, because the sideways one, for some reason, seems a lot easier. So, for instance, I haven't warmed this leg, I haven't stretched this leg. If I do that, I can get a reasonable first time going forwards it's it's not bad actually but I ain't anywhere near this one which now I'm I'm going straight down I won't get all this rubbish off I can get flat obviously I'm not I'm bending over at the minute so I'm happy with that um, can you do it in your head can you access the parasympathetic nervous system by making noise internally. There might be some connection with the ears or something, I don't know, let's have a look. I think I'm making some noise by breathing out as well. Let me hold my breath and try it. Oh, uh, uh. thank you very much. 